What is up people, welcome back to another video. And you read the title, we are gonna go over how much muscle can you build naturally, okay? We are not enhanced here, we are full on natties. Okay, and before we actually get into calculating the exact amount of muscle you can build as an atty, there are a few variables which are naturally going to dictate your ability to gain muscle. So let's move on to the first one. Oh my god, let's appreciate the absolute whopper that was. I'm dizzy, my hands are starting to shake. And I would actually put up the full stats of that workout. We definitely went on a trip to Heart Attack City. Let's have a look at that. Oh my God, beautiful. But you know what they say. Your heart rate cannot determine how many calories you're burning. Okay, that pretty much means this counted for nothing. But yes, that is point one of reaching your genetic potential, okay? Is what type of training you do. Is it cardio based or is it resistance training based? And this is super common sense, okay? But obviously you want to be lifting weights. As per Chris Novick, 2019, completely butchered. Resistance training is a primary exercise intervention used to develop strength and stimulate muscle hypertrophy. Now, not only that, but the way you resistance train, so like the volumes, the intensities, rest times, tempos you know all of that will also play a big impact because sure as a noob you can go in do like a bro split train one set of biceps and grow but as you become more advanced okay you need to start manipulating these variables a lot more okay and one in particular is going to be volume as per a load of recent research still indicating that there is a graded dose response relationship between increases in resistance training volume producing greater gains in muscle hypertrophy than lower ones okay so you want to sort of ramp up the volume over time but there does come a problem with that later on which I will discuss but that is point number one get to the gym and resistance train mm, boom but before we do quick little plug because I want to move out the house okay you know I have been running a coaching sale in celebration for all these new features which have just run out well I am going to extend that a few more days so literally the price will be going up forever pretty much until like black friday maybe not even black friday i don't normally do sales so yes if you want to literally get all of the new features at the current price click the link down below sign up to the team and save yourself hella bills hella dollar <laughs> hella dollar bills okay so now let's get on to the next variable that's going to influence your ability to make all kinds of gains Okay, so there's a security guard behind me, but the next thing is going to be what you put in your mouth, okay? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your diet, okay? Because although you can actually gain muscle in a deficit or at maintenance, ideally, you will eat in a calorie surplus for the majority of your lifting career. As per Slater 2019, who state that most studies consistently demonstrate a strong association between body mass gain and an energy surplus, along with another study by Iraqi 2008, who explained that combining a positive energy balance with resistance training provides the most effective method to ensure the anabolic effects are directed towards increasing skeletal muscle mass so that is an absolute knowledge bomb and no i didn't get stopped by the security guards so that is a wrap get to the grocery store eat big well not too big so you will not turn into the michelin man but eat enough and you know what to bring a bit of entertainment value to the video it only seems right that we do a series of the little adventures sing it with me people <gasps> doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, boom <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So first on the list is an omelet maker. Some light bulbs, a retractable dog lead, the aroma diffuser is back in town, a shark cycling helmet, a slither, a giant spoon, a mouse pad with a wrist rest, a cake tin, and last but not least, a forestry safety helmet. Of course. As always, if you want the little adventures to continue, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. But now let's move on to the next variable that is gonna influence your ability to get all kinds of gains. And oh my god, here's a little insight into the parents' diet, okay? A Friday night celebration, so I have no idea what these are. Then we have some chorizo, some olives, a caprese salad, some Italian chiappi, flatbread, some leftover lasagna, chicken nuggets, and I'm happy to see the bowl the size of your head full of salad. But yes, not much protein, and speaking of protein, 
that is funnily enough going to be the next variable that dictates whether you're going to get swell or stay forever small okay we talked about the energy surplus but the calories and the macro breakdown in particular your protein intake over time is going to highly dictate your ability to make gains as seen in the graph by morton in 2008 where higher protein intakes of 1.6 grams per kilo result in greater fat free mass gain than lower ones with higher than 1.6 not showing much additional gain however that's not to say that higher intakes still don't have a place as per aragon 2017 who say that intakes as high as 2.3 to 3.1 grams per kilo may actually be beneficial for very lean individuals but it's safe to say that over time if you want to maximize your potential you at least want to get 1.6 grams per kilo over time okay now let's move on to the next variable but before we do, this is what I want you to do. I want you to scroll down, click that like button, and then the plan is to incorporate these style of videos into like another mini series, maybe called like short and sweet, where I literally just take a topic, bang it out the way, and that's it, like under 10 minutes. So if that is something you're interested in, alongside the solo recipe series, and then also the sort of meal plan series or the vlog series, comment down below, pepperoni shampoo is the best, okay? It's gonna confuse everyone as well, so yes. I appreciate you all now let's get on to the next thing that is going to influence your genetic potential Okay, so this one a lot of people actually don't think and say hello to the monkey Okay, but something that is going to influence your ability to make muscle over time is sleep Okay, as seen in the graph by Datilo 2011 who showed that sleep deprivation or restriction results in reductions in anabolic hormones like IGF-1 and testosterone Which may then be able to decrease the activity of like IGF-1, AKT, mTOR pathways and also increase catabolic hormones and diminishing the signal inhibition for myostatin expression thereby promoting protein degradation and muscle atrophy okay so you might get away with it in your early stages that is debatable though but especially as a more advanced lifter you need to be sure that you are maximizing your sleep over time to make gains and truly maximize your potential so let's move on with the next variable and that although it's not going to play a huge role is going to be supplementation okay look at all of the supplements there they're going to dictate your ability to gain muscle Ouch. what the hell another po why does this keep happening i'm definitely not upset but let's have a look what's in this parcel oh no even in such a <laughs> it's already pre-popped. They clearly got the point that I don't like this. And then I don't, I don't want it. Okay, but here we go. Ooh, baby. So here we go. We stocked up on more flavor drops because I am a baker at this stage. If you bought the recipe book, which please go and do so I can move out of this house and not live with my parents anymore. But yes, if you bought the recipe book, these are definitely a game changer. And they last forever too, and really good value. So we've just gone for a load of white chocolate ones, and I actually took the plunge. This is cheesecake one, so we have never tasted those ones. We got two of those, and then the rest are white chocolate ones. It was like two for one, so stock up. They're not necessary, but they add that nice little zing, okay? And they are definitely not gonna be the supplement that is gonna make or break your ability to gain muscle. The main one is gonna be... <coughs> creatine monohydrate and i already know that one person is going to be out there saying that's not natural <laughs> shut up okay but yes creatine monohydrate will actually impact your ability to maximize your gains as per a study by buffer 2007 who showed that in long-term studies subjects taking creatine typically gain about twice as much body mass and or fat free mass than those who actually just take a placebo so to maximize your potential you want to be sure that you are supplementing smartly none of this like testo boost and stuff just evidence-based supplements so like creatine monohydrate a protein powder can help and even like a caffeine to like increase training performance and help overload okay so that is that now let's move on to the next variable which is going to dictate your ability to get all kinds of gains so of course the next thing that's going to influence your ability to build muscle is genetics hello papa murray hello mama murray how are we today perfecto perfecto okay so it is safe to say that you have given me the shittest genetics ever <laughs> okay no but seriously <laughs> genetics <laughs> genetics do impact a lot so as seen in the graph by verbuge 2018 there are several genes which significantly regulate how much muscle hypertrophy goes on and how many gains you make in response to training with some causing little to no effect and others a lot okay and also things like testosterone muscle fiber type like type 1 and 2 they will significantly influence your ability to make gains okay there are people born 
to like stay skinny and small and do endurance events. And then there are people who are born to just get swole overnight. And it is safe to say that we are definitely not made <laughs> to get big. So yes, <laughs> mom might be, but I'm not. Okay, so let's move on with the next tip. And when I say tip, I don't actually mean tip at all or even variable, okay? This is gonna be the deciding thing or like way that you're gonna calculate your muscle building potential. And it is based on the fat-free mass index, which essentially is your fat-free body mass in kilos divided by your height in meters squared. And there is a study by Corey 1995 who studied the sample of 157 male athletes comprising of 83 anabolic steroid users and 74 non-users, finding that as you can see in the graph, many non not all of the roid users in their sample easily exceeded an FFMI of 25, okay? And that some even exceeded 30. Not to say that there aren't natties over 25 and roiders under, but although not fully reliable, fat-free mass is still a good method to roughly determine your genetic potential. So you can plug in all your stats and just work backwards. And you know what? If you're not smart enough to work backwards, what I'm gonna do is sort of wrap up this whole video by putting an article, writing up a pretty detailed article, along with linking like all of the links to the song that I've touched upon and an actual calculator or multiple calculators where you can just input like your stats and it'll just tell you straight away so that is gonna be linked down below but yes let's wrap up this video okay so to wrap it all up and give you a nice little analogy I think your ability to gain muscle is unlimited but this is sort of where I see it. It's like an asymptote in that the majority of your gains are gonna be made like, let's say in your first 10 years of lifting. So like, let's say that is like 98% of your lifting career. Then you can still gain muscle, but you are literally just fighting for like two or 1% extra over years and years, which really is like untrackable or just insignificant, okay? And even then, like your MRV is gonna just basically be your MEV at that stage. So the only way to like continue making gains is to like overtrain. So yes, it literally will come to a stage where although you'll be progressing so much, the lines will be coming closer and closer and closer. It will just not be worth it. Or at least you'll just be training for muscle retention at that point because you'll be so old. But yes, that is my little analogy for the day. And officially gonna be the end of this video. I know, devastating, but if you want the series to continue, you know what to comment and do smash the like button. Help the algorithm, okay? Let's defeat the algorithm. But yes, hit the like video, hit the like video, and <laughs> hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Hope you all have a good day, and I really do appreciate every single one of you tuning in. So see you all in the next video. Boop.